Jeffy, it's time for your yearly ear cleaning. Oh, boy. Marvin, do you want to help? I'm not going to help you clean Jeffy's ears. That's so gross. It's not that bad, Marvin. It's like digging for cheese. Digging for cheese. Come on, Mommy. These ears aren't going to clean themselves. Why do you have so many Q-tips? Because we're going to need them all. Come here, Jeffy. All right, Mommy. Now remember, go really, really deep in there. I want you to touch the brain. Oh, it sounds so gross. Look, look the other way. I don't want to see that. Uh -uh. Ew, what is that? <laughs> Ew! Ah! What is that? Oh, that's what you call a cheese stick. It's a rare delicacy. Jeffy, <laughs> 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 that's so gross! That's so gross! Oh my god. Okay, we're done with the ear cleans. We don't have to clean any more ears. But Marvin, I still have to do the other one. Oh, no, we're not cleaning any more ears. We're, we're done with that. Who's at the door? Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. And don't touch his ears. Hello? Well, Goodman, what are you doing here? Hey, Marvin, I wanted to come by and show you my Halloween costume. But it's not Halloween anymore. I know. What? Scary, huh? See, for me, this is a Halloween costume. But for you, this is reality. Let's go over it, shall we? Didn't pay July, didn't pay August, didn't pay September, didn't pay October. Shall we go for November? Well, I, 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 see, I can't deposit that into my bank account. Well, I just need more time. Oh, you need more time? Oh, I'm so sorry. I completely understand. How about if you don't pay the last four months and this month in the next hour, your bald ass is going to be living on the street. But what about my family? Oh, I'm going to live with your family. And they can call me Papa Goodman. Look, it's impossible to get all that money by tonight. Well, I thought it was impossible for someone not to pay their house payment for four months. But hey, anything's possible. Possible, you prove that, buddy. Here. Uh, okay. One hour. Actually, 30 minutes. What? I'm gonna go get a snow cone for my balls because they ache so bad. Uh, uh. All right, Jeffy, all done. Oh, sweet. Check out my cheese collection. I got cheese sticks and cheese lollipops. Uh. Hey, Daddy, you want any of my cheese? No. All right, well, I'm just gonna go to my room and eat this. Uh. What's wrong, Marvin? I'm four months past due on the house payment. What? How did you get so far behind? You know, because money's hard to get and we owe a lot of it. Well, how much do you have? Let me check. I have a dollar and sixty cents. How much do you have? Hmm. I have a hundred. Well, that's something. Well, do you think he'll accept this and give us more time? No. He wants the last four months of payments and this much payment or he's going to kick me out on the street. Oh, my God. Wait, just you? Wait, wait, yeah, just me. But you'll live on the street with me, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, where am I going to get that money at? Well, why don't you go to the bank and ask for a loan? Because Goodman owns the bank. He's not going to give me a loan to pay my other loan. Yeah, I guess so. I have to go to like a loan shark or something. Marvin, that's dangerous. I have to do it for my family. <sighs> where am I going to find a loan shark? Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah. I'm looking for a loan shark. Well, I'm a lone dolphin, so I'm nicer than a loan shark. I mean, I'll still break your kneecaps, but I won't eat you like sharks do. Well, I need a loan. How much do you need? I need $10,000. Ooh, that's a lot of gravy. Do you have the mashed potatoes for that gravy? Well, what does mashed potatoes mean? Never mind. I don't even have that much money. I got robbed. You got robbed? Yeah, they even ripped my leather jacket. I'm pretty upset about it. They stole everything. In fact, the only thing they didn't steal is this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Probably because it weighs a ton. It's a good gold machine. It literally makes gold. It makes gold? Yeah. Anything you put in there, it turns it to gold. But why would you try to get rid of this? Because well, it's super illegal. I could get the electric chair just for having this, so I just want to get it off my hands. Or my fins. Well, okay, I'll buy it. How much is it? It is uh, $101.60. That's exactly how much I have in my wallet. Well, great. That means you can afford it. <laughs> All right, there it is, right there. All right, now you can just take this, and I hope you can lug it home. Oh, you okay? All right, baby, all our problems are solved. You got the money? No, even better, I bought a g-g-g-gold machine. What? Well, yeah, it's a g-g-gold machine. Uh, whatever you put inside it turns to gold. How much money did you spend on this, Marvin? All the money we had left. What? You spent? Money on a scam? Well, no, no, it's not a scam. Yeah, apparently, whatever you put inside turns to gold. That's impossible. Well, well you, you, don't, you haven't seen it work yet. Uh, neither have I, but, 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 but look, look, put the TV remote in there and it'll turn into a gold brick. If this doesn't work, I want a divorce. Oh, like it's, it's gonna work. It's a, it's a g -g gold machine with tinfoil on it. Oh, hold on, let, let, me, let me turn it on. Um, uh, I, think that, I think that's how that works and, and that and. <laughs> oh. Oh, you hear it working? Oh, I think it's gold time. I think it's divorce time. Oh, no, 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 what did I do wrong? Oh, baby, look at me. I forgot to plug it in. I'm such a silly goose. Plug it in, Marvin. All right, baby, it's plugged in. 
Now we wait. Marvin, I can't believe you spent our last little bit of money on a scam. We're going to be out on the street. Jeffy won't have a home. We won't be able to afford food. Nowhere to sleep. Christmas is around the corner. Hold that thought, baby. It's done. Marvin, I'm leaving you. Let's see what's inside. It's gold. It worked, baby. What? It works? Yeah, look. It's gold. Marvin, you're a genius. I know I am. I knew that guy was trustworthy. Baby, we have so much gold. Look, go outside. Grab rocks. Grab leaves. Grab whatever trash you can. We're going to turn it into gold. We're going to be billionaires. Okay, we're going to be rich. Oh, my God. All right. We put a bunch of junk in there. Wait, what's that note? That was my goodbye letter to you when we were getting a divorce, but we don't need that now. That sounds good to me. All right, start making that gold. Oh, we're going to be so rich, baby. Okay, baby, it's done. Let's look at all the gold. Look at all that gold. Marvin, we're so rich. We're not going to lose the house now. Yeah, I have enough to pay Goodman. That must be him. All right, all right, baby, help me grab all this gold and take it to him. But wait, Marvin, you don't owe him that much. But I want to pay off the house, and I want to give him money to never bother me again. Okay. Right, let's go. Uh, hello? Hey, Marvin, I'm here for my house payment. Well, we got it right here in gold. Jesus Christ, where'd you get all that gold? Uh, uh my, my grandmother was a gold digger, and I just inherited all her money. Wow, seems like a nice lady. Well, yeah, so look, we want to give you all this gold so we can pay off my house, and you never talk to me ever again. Okay. All right, here you go, so just take that. Yeah, you take that. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Mommy, Daddy, I'm done with my cheese. Mommy, Daddy, where you at? <gasps> what is this? Oh, a bunch of teleportation machine. I wonder if it'll take me to Disney World. <gasps> Let me find out. Got to to Disney World. I'll go right now. All right, let's get in. Baby, I can't believe I just paid off the house. I know, Marvin. You'll never have to deal with Goodman again. I know. Let's make out on top of the machine. Marvin, the machine's on. Did you turn it on? No. Oh, hold on. What the? What in the? Oh, my God. Marvin, it's Jeffy. What? Oh, my God, baby. I, I think Jeffy crawled in the machine and turned himself into gold. Marvin, turn him back. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Marvin, I want Jeffy back. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Listen, we're billionaires. We don't need Jeffy anymore. Let's just act like he didn't exist. Marvin, turn Jeffy back to normal right now. Oh, okay, look, I, I don't know how to do it, but look, I'll go ask the guy I bought it from and see if he knows how to work it, okay? Just hold on. Marvin, Jimmy! Hey, I have a problem with you. Hey, man, you can eat it, so it's not all bad. What? What? Wait, why are you mad? That machine turned my son into gold. Oh, and you're not mad about anything else? No, is there something else I should be mad about? No, 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 don't worry about it. I mean, I can't help you. But... Oh, no, 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 your machine turned my son into gold, so you're going to help me change him back. Well, you can't change him back. It just turns things into gold, and I already got rid of my turn gold into people machine. You had a turn gold into people machine? Yeah, but I sold it to a guy who was rich but very lonely. Well, I need your help. I want my son back to normal, so help me change him back. I mean, I don't know. You could, like, call a dentist or something. What's a dentist going to do about my son turning gold? Well, you know, they, they give people gold teeth, so maybe they could give your son not gold teeth and then turn him into not gold. I don't know. I'm a dolphin. I don't know these things. <sighs> I guess I'll call a dentist and give it a shot. Okay. <sighs> Uh, all right, baby, I'm back. Did you just make gold? Yes, Marvin, I was stressed out. What did the guy say? He said I have to call a dentist. Hmm, yeah, you do need to start flossing more. Not for me, for Jeffy! Well, what's a dentist gonna do? I don't know, but I'm, I'm gonna do what the guy said. I'm gonna call a dentist. Hey there, you call a dentist? Yes, I did, so my son... No, 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 hold on. I wrote a song about teeth I want you to hear. Check this out. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Don't get cavities. Floss them, floss them, floss them, floss them. Don't get cavities. I wrote that. That's all me. That's great. Thanks. Well, wasn't that just row, row, row your boat? Okay. Okay, smart guy. Check this one out. How about this? Uh, the teeth in your mouth get brush, brush, brushed. Brush, brush, brushed. Brush, brush, brushed. The teeth in your mouth get brush, brush, brushed. Don't get cavities. Aw, I like that one too. Yeah. Well, wasn't that just wheels on the bus go round and round? Okay, you're really starting to piss me off. Okay, how, how about this one, huh? How about this one? Uh, uh, the itsy bitsy tooth in your mouth get brushed by the... Don't get cavities. Wait, wasn't that just the itsy bitsy spider? It was gonna be until you started judging me and you made me mess up. Look, what do you want? You get a cavity of some shit? Because I'll poke it. I'm a dentist. That's what I do. I poke your gums until they bleed and then I blame you for not flossing. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look, listen. My son got turned into gold and I need you to turn him back into a human. Okay, hold, hold, hold on there, chief. I, I need you to explain everything you just said in detail because I don't get it. Okay, listen, listen. I bought this machine that, put, that turns whatever you put inside it into gold and my son got inside it and he got turned into gold, so now I want you to turn him back into a human. 
and you thought a dentist could help with this problem? Well, yeah, see, look, you're a dentist and you turn people's teeth into gold. So maybe you could turn his gold teeth into normal teeth. Uh, okay, okay, two problems. One, his teeth are the only part of him that are not gold. And two, what the hell are you talking about? You like some kind of goofball or something? Well, no, look, I just need your help because look, this machine makes gold and I want my son to be turned back into a human and I, I just don't know what to do. No, 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 no hold on. Now, you're, you're telling me that this machine turns normal things into gold? Yeah, whatever you put in this machine turns into gold. So, so those are real gold bars? Yes. What? You guys are billionaires! Yeah, and we have all this money, but like, we just want to turn my son back to normal. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so, I, oh, okay, I think what I have to do is I need to take this machine home and then I, I can study it so that I can uh, re re reverse the gold thing. You want to take this machine home? Yes, that I, I have to do that to help your son. Yes. Well, what if you're just trying to steal it? No, steal it! Come on, I, I wouldn't do that. I'm a dentist. I don't. I don't need to steal. I I make decent money. You know, I don't need billions of dollars in gold so I never have to work again. No, I like being a dentist. I like writing copyright songs that that just make the lawsuits stack up. That's my life. That's that's what I do. I like that. Well, I don't feel comfortable with you taking this machine home. Okay, I guess you just want your son to be a gold statue for the rest of his life. I'm just gonna leave. Okay. Give me this goddamn thing! No, 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 get back, get back! You're not, you're not, you're not taking it! Leave! Ugh, you're, leave! Go! Get out of my house now! Come on, man! Share the wealth! You don't need all that gold! You're a dentist, you have a lot of money, leave! No, 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 come on, what if I sing you one more tooth song? Then will you give me some gold? No! Come on, right off the dome, listen, listen, listen to this. Um, twinkle, twinkle, little tooth! You're shiny because I brushed you. Don't get cavities. <sighs> I'm gonna get that gold machine if it's the last thing I do. <sighs> Marvin, how are we gonna turn Jeffy back? I don't know, but baby, I've had a long day. I'm really tired, so how about we go to sleep, and then tomorrow we cash in our gold, go buy a mansion in Hawaii, and then we can work on Jeffy then. Okay. Let's go to bed. Oh, good night, Marvin. Good night, baby. When we wake up, we're gonna be filthy, stinking rich. And we're gonna fix Jeffy, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that too. Okay, I'm gonna break into this house, I'm gonna steal that gold machine, I'm gonna take it home, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of gold, and then I'm gonna divorce my wife. Wait, no, 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 that's not right. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal the machine, I'm gonna take it home, and then I'm gonna divorce my wife, and then make a bunch of gold so she can't get any money from me in the divorce settlement. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Now we just have to break in. Uh, maybe they leave the door unlocked? No, it's locked. That's not gonna work. Wait, what's this? Um, oh, you need a passcode. Uh, what would somebody do? Like, one, two, three, four? It, is that good? Um, no, it's locked. Uh, how about, uh, one, two, five, six? What? No way, really? Oh my god, I'm a genius! Okay, now I just gotta close the door really quietly. Uh, oh, man, I tripped. <laughs> I think we're good. Now I just gotta get up these stairs. Why are these stairs so creaky? They're carpet. Okay, there it is. Come the papa. Oh my god, this thing is heavy. Okay, I just gotta get it down the stairs, into my car, and then I'm rich. Oh, oh, oh god, I'm gonna break my back carrying this thing. Oh, I gotta go down all those stairs. Oh. Guy, stop complaining. If you pull this off, you're gonna be a billionaire. Yeah, I'm gonna be a billionaire! Oh, 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 oh. Marvin, someone's in the house! Oh, hold on, let me go see. Oh, that's not good, that's not good. That's not supposed to be like that. Uh, hey, a robber! Hey, a homeowner. See, I can state obvious facts too. Well, I'm gonna call the cops. Well, guess what, buddy? Hold on, I got a big surprise for you. Just give me a second. This thing is it's pretty on here and it... I am a cop! Oh, hey! You, you, you are a cop! Why'd you break into my house? Because I was trying to steal your gold machine! Well, you broke it! Yeah, well now no one gets it. That's what you get for not sharing. Well, that, that is it. I am going to call your, your chief of police, and I'm going to say that you're a robber, and you're going to get fired! No, 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 no. You, you don't have to do that. Uh, look, what, what if I turn your son back to normal, huh? What about that? You can't turn my son back to normal. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can, because uh, gold melts at 2,000 degrees, so you could just put him in the oven and then melt him out, right? Well, my oven does not go to 2,000 degrees. Oh, yeah, sure it does. Come on, I'll show you. Yeah, see, we just press bake, and it's already at 350 degrees. It can definitely do 2,000 degrees. See? Here we go. 400. Ooh, we're almost at 500. This thing cannot do 2,000 degrees. Yeah, it can. Look, we're already a quarter of the way there. Wait, what? 
Oh, I guess the highest it can do is 550 degrees. I told you it couldn't do 2,000 degrees. No, look, it's fine. We just put them in there four times. You really think this oven can melt the gold off my son's body? Yeah, of course it can. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll just put them in there. A-U, get in the oven. Y you get it? A-U? Because that's the periodic table symbol for gold. It's A-U. Oh, okay, I get it. I'm going to put them in the oven. Okay, he's in there. All right, now we just got to come back in about 10 minutes, and your son's going to be A-OK. -okay. okay. All right, Marvin, you ready to see your son again? There's no way this is actually going to work. Check it out. <laughs> What's up, hey? See, I told you it would turn your son back to normal. Oh, yeah, Daddy, I was trapped inside chocolate. You were trapped inside chocolate? Wait, look at this. There's little pieces of gold inside the chocolate. Wait, I'm so confused. Why is it chocolate? Wait a minute. I don't think that machine turned things into gold. I think it turned things into chocolate with a gold wrapper on it. Wait, wait. So it doesn't actually make gold? No, it just makes chocolate that looks like gold. Oh no, I, I just paid somebody using that gold. Oh, well maybe he won't notice. Uh, oh no, uh, hello. You think this is funny? Okay, Goodman, look, I did not know the gold was chocolate. And I didn't know I could fit an entire jar of pickles up my ass, but here we are. Oh no, no, Goodman, I promise it was a big misunderstanding. Well, fortunately for you, I actually like chocolate. And I like it so much and I thought this was such a funny joke, I'll give you to the end of next week to get the money. Wait, really? Yep, go ahead. Uh, okay. Oh, thank God. Hey, Daddy, touch my bubble pipe. Jeffy, stop it. Oh, come on, Daddy, make me bubble. Jeffy, I said stop it. Oh, come on, Daddy, please. Get that out of my face. Oh! kicked off the 2024 Olympic Games and it's going to be a good one this year with notable stars such as Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps, and LeBron James. Oh, Marvin, it was always a dream of mine to be in the Olympics. What did you want to compete in? Oh, no, I didn't want to compete. I just wanted to go and, like, watch. Oh. Hey, Daddy, do you think they have Olympics for shooting bubbles in people's faces? <laughs> no, I, I don't think they have that. You need to stop that. <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. You could even be in the regular Olympics. You'd have to be in the special Olympics. Marvin! <gasps> they have special Olympics? Olympics? Yeah, they have Olympics for special people just like you, Jeffy. Oh, I can be in the Olympics because I'm special? Yeah, you should go like practice so you can go compete. Yeah, I'm going to go train right now. <laughs> what are you doing? So what's this board game, Cody? Chicken versus hot dog. How do you play? Well, I think I just sit on the hot dog while you guys go through the cards and play Uno. I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, I win. How'd you win? Look at me, Junior. I'm winning. Hey, guys. I want to be in the Olympics. You can't be in the Olympics, Jeff. You have to be really athletic to do that. But my daddy said that there's a special Olympic just for me. Special Olympics? Oh, yeah, the Paralympics. What, what's the difference between the Olympics and the Paralympics? Well, it's a special kind of Olympics for people who have handicaps, like people in wheelchairs and stuff. You're telling me I can compete against people in wheelchairs? That'd be so easy. No, because you have to have a handicap to compete. I stubbed my toe once. That doesn't count. Wait, so you're telling me I could fake an injury and then go up against actual injured people and win gold medals? Well, you could, but that would be cheating. Oh my god, that'd be so cool! Well, what if we recorded ourselves doing something dangerous so it looks like we're injured, so then people would believe our injuries so we get gold medals? Well, I guess you could do that. Alright, so let's go do something dangerous and record ourselves so we have proof that we are injured. Ooh, so dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off your roof. <gasps> Head first! Yeah, do that! Yeah! And I'm gonna run and jump down my stairs and, like, fall. Ooh, Ooh. nice choice. You guys might actually get seriously injured. And then we wouldn't be cheaters, now would we, Cody? No, I guess you wouldn't. Alright, I'm gonna get my phone and record it. Uh, Cody, you don't need a handicap because you're, you're blind. But I'm not blind, I just wear glasses. But if you took your glasses off, then you'd still be blind. But I know I wouldldn't. I'm more artistic. Yeah, and Jeffy can paint. So let's go fake our injuries, guys! Woo! All right, kids, you're all bandaged up. So what made your friend want to jump off the roof head first and then you drag his body in the road so he could get hit by a car? We were trying to fake injuries so we could join the Olympics. Oh, is that why you threw yourself down your stairs? Yeah, I wanted to fake a broken leg. Well, you broke it for real. Well, we just thought that if we faked our injuries, we could compete against people with real injuries and get easy gold medals. Oh, you mean the Paralympics. Huh, that's actually not a bad idea. You guys are actually injured, so I guess you could compete, and you'd probably win, too. Wait a minute, one, two, three, four handicapped kids. You know, if I got a kid with cancer from the cancer ward, I bet we could actually compete in the real Paralympics and win a whole bunch of gold medals. You think we could do that? Yeah, I think so. Come on, let's go to Paris and compete. <laughs> All right, kids, ready for the easiest gold medal you'll ever get? Yeah! 
Hello and welcome to the 2024 Paris Olympics. Today's basketball matchup winner will win this gold medal. Now let's meet the USA team, starting with LeBron James. Oh, Sprite Cranberry? That's too easy. <laughs> Next up, Steph McFlurry. I, I mean Curry. Mm. But damn. Well. Next up, Nikola Jokic. Give ball. I just want my horses. Don't worry, buddy. You'll get back to your horses soon. Next up, Luka Doncic. And the final teammate, Caitlin Clark. Me like basketball. That's a big dick play, Caitlin. Yeah. Thank you. Big good. Yeah. What the fuck? They're not handicapped at all. Those are superstars. Hold on, I gotta go talk to the announcer. Hey man, what the fuck? You got a problem? Yeah, I got a problem. This is supposed to be the Paralympics. Why is LeBron James out there? He's not handicapped. Oh, well this isn't the Paralympics. This is the Paris Olympics. The Paralympics are next week. Oh, I am so stupid. But still, I have a lot of questions. Why are Luka Doncic and Nikola Jokic out there? They're not even from America. Why are they on the USA team? Oh, they just wanted to get easy gold medals. Yeah, yeah, I actually had the same idea, except I was trying to cheat against handicapped people. But still, those are kids. Why are you even allowing them to compete in this competition? Well, nobody wanted to go up against those guys. Yeah, yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, kids, we're fucked. Just play your hardest, but we're definitely getting silver medals. Uh, Let's get started! Yeah, Junior, I think we're gonna get destroyed. Go! Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what are we supposed to do? I guess, should we go over there? Ooh, grab my horse! Oh damn, the whole USA team just scored one big slam dunk. Is that legal? Can, can they do that? Can they just embarrass us on international TV like that? You know, that kid over there in the wheelchair has cancer. His mom is watching and he's not even faking. He really has cancer. All right, Cody, I'm gonna inbound it to you. No, Junior, LeBron is right on me. Me and my son play on the same team. I know, LeBron. Hey, LeBron, there's a Sprite Cranberry over there. What, where? Uh, yeah. Run, Cody. Yeah. Ah! Oh, hey, Mr. Steph Curry. I heard your wife wants other men. Ha! Hey, Cody, pass me the ball! I like horses. Uh, Jeffy, Joseph's open in the corner! Okay! Why would you pass it to the kid in the body cast? That's a ball! That's a ball, right? Look, yes, LeBron, that's your ball. It went out of bounds. Give me, give me. Curry from half court! Bang! Curry from half court! Time out, time out. Did you not just see Steph Curry kick the kid in the wheelchair? No. Ah, I'm gonna go check on him. Yeah, Curry from half court. This one's called my Curry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> kid, kid, are you okay? Coach, I'm gonna miss my chemo appointment. Okay, that's it. We forfeit. This is just sad. <laughs> Team Handicap forfeits. Team USA wins. Come get your medals, boys. Congratulations on the gold medal, Nicola. I don't give shit about medal. I want to play with horses. Congrats, Luca. I just want to play Xbox. Congratulations, LeBron. I'm gonna celebrate this victory with a Sprite Cranberry. Congrats, Chef Curry. And congratulations, Caitlin Clark. I have penis. Hello and welcome to the next Olympic event, the 100 meter freestyle swim. Now let's introduce the first Olympic athlete, 23 time gold medal winner, Michael Phelps. And going up against him, a bunch of handicapped kids. Well kids, this isn't fucking fair. How am I gonna swim with crutches? I guess you don't. I didn't bring any goggles. Okay, Jeffy, do you have an excuse? Oh, I guess he's chicken. Well, I guess it's up to Joseph to beat Michael Phelps then. Swimmers, are you ready? On your marks, get set, swim! Oh damn, look at Michael Phelps go! Oh damn, he's going, go Joseph, go! I think he needs a push. Oh, I got him. Oh, 
Come on, Joseph, you're swimming like you're drowning. I guess the stereotype is right. People in full body cast can't swim. Oh, yeah. Oh, the kid on the stretch is drowning. He is drowning. Michael Phelps is almost at the end. Michael Phelps wins. Congratulations, Michael Phelps, on winning another gold medal. Ah, oh, great, Joseph. Now we lost. You just stay at the bottom of the pool and think about what you did. Hello and welcome to the final Olympic event, the 100 meter dash. Our first runner for Team Jamaica is Usain Bolt. Every little thing is going to be all right. And going up against him, once again, a bunch of handicapped kids. All right, kids, who's ready to go up against Usain Bolt? I have bad knees because of my fibromyalgia. Yeah, and I broke my legs from in crutches. I have cancer, but I can try to roll fast enough, coach. Oh, good idea. You and Jeffy try to go after him. Go after him? Don't you mean go against him? No, you will be behind him. Runners, on your mark, get set. Jeffy, why aren't you running? Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do? Yes, it's a race. Oh, you're supposed to race him? Yes. Well, what do I get? Well, if you win, you get a medal. Do I want that? Yes, of course you want that. All right, I'll try. <laughs> oh, your Saint Bolt is hauling ass. There's no way anyone's catching him. Oh, look at that. Jeffy's coming from behind. No ditty. <laughs> Oh, it looks like it's going to be a photo finish, and oh, I don't know who won. It's too close to call. We're going to have to let the judge review the results. And what's your excuse? My wheelchair wheel's locked, coach. <sighs> Such a quitter. Congratulations, men on tying and both winning gold medals. I still believe I won, but you know what? Every little thing's going to be all right. Oh my god, I did it! I actually won a gold medal! I, I mean, we did it! Yay! Well, good. Well, kids, you tried your heart out of your asses off, and Jeffy actually won a gold medal. Well, isn't that like all of our gold medals since we're like a team? No, no, it's his because he earned it. Isn't Joseph still at the bottom of the pool? This sandwich looks delicious! Ooh, I can't wait to take the first bite. Oh, man. Mm, and it smells like my ex. Ooh, I should call her. I love this nostalgia. Ooh, wait, wait. My fish sandwich is missing something. What is it missing? Oh, yeah, spices! <laughs> Duh. Uh, what do we got? Chili powder? Uh, no. Italian seasoning? No. Jeffy, get back with my sandwich! Help me find my son Nemo! Ah, Jeffy, where'd you get that fish? I found it! No, he didn't! He stole it! Now give it back, Jeffy! No, he's gonna find his son! No, he's gonna find my mouth because I'm hungry! Give it back! Wait, no! Jeffy, that's not even a clownfish! Well, maybe he lost his job! No one's hiring clowns in this economy! Give me my fish back! I'm hungry, Jeffy! No. Give it back! No, no, give it back! Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on. Give him his fish back, Jeffy. Give me my damn fish! Hello? Hey there. We were just going door to door selling us sexy policeman calendars, but then we heard screaming, so now we're here for business, not pleasure. Oh, no. My son was just screaming about a fish. Yeah? Finding Nemo can be pretty scary. Oh, it's a dead fish. Oh, I think maybe we should come in and look around. No, no, no. What's these calendars about? Oh, you like them? Yeah, I made them myself. We actually photoshopped our heads onto stock photos of sexy men. That's not actually my body. I wish it was, but I like cheesecake too much, but it goes straight to my hips. I have to write you a ticket for being too sexy. Yeah, I came up with that. Read mine. Freeze. I need to do a strip search. Oh, that's really clever. You want to buy one? How much is it? $54. $54 for a calendar? Yeah, I mean, people are trying to, like, defund the police, so this is how we're trying to fund it. I mean, we will sign it for you. Oh, well, what's your autograph worth? What? Okay, dick. Uh, you're Marvin. I'm Brooklyn guy, okay? Do you know who I am? I'm in every video. You guys would crumble without me. If I'm not here, nothing happens. Chef Pee-Pee's girlfriend, everybody hated that. So I think my autograph is worth quite a bit. So now, we're gonna come in and see what all the screaming's about. Ugh. Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the police. Whoop, whoop! That's the sound of the us. We heard screaming, and unless there's ice cream in here for us all to scream for, that's pretty suspicious. I told you my son was screaming about a fish. I see no son, and I see no fish. Well, he left with it. Mm -mm. 
mm, no, I'm not buying it. Simmons, something in here smells pretty fishy. Because there was a fish on the couch a minute ago. No, this is what I think happened. I think you and your wife murdered someone, and that was the scream we heard, and then you hid the body, and you didn't want to buy a calendar because you didn't want us to get your DNA off the money to compare to the murder victim. No, I didn't buy your stupid calendar because it sucks. <laughs> oh, look what you did. You made Simmons cry. That's not my fault. I don't have abs like that. Marvin, you owe me a new fish because Jeffy put his dirty fingers all over it. Huh, I guess you were telling the truth. I told you I told the truth. Jeez, okay, you don't have to snap at me. Simmons, if he was a turtle, he'd be a snapping turtle. Go on, mate. I wouldn't be a snapping turtle, I'd be a regular turtle. Marvin, you seem so stressed out. You need a boys' night out. Did somebody say boys' night out? Did somebody say Applebee's and casino and strip club? I said boys' night out, but I didn't say strip club. Wait, wait, wait. I heard Applebee's. I love me some damn Applebee's now. Yeah, you guys want to go to Applebee's and a casino and also a strip club? No strip club! Okay, fine. Come on, let's go to Applebee's. Uh, Applebee's! Uh, I kind of just want to stay inside tonight. Jesus, what? Marvin, don't be such a puss. Let's go to Applebee's. Yeah, come on, the bees. Okay, baby, I'll be back. Bye. Oh man, Marvin, you know what I love so much about Applebee's? The culture. One meal, you're in Greece. Another meal, you're in Italy. The next meal, you're in Asia? Like chicken wonton tacos? That's Asia and Mexico. Nigga, choose the country. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I need a passport to eat here. I feel like I'm eating in an airport. Bro, Applebee's is the eighth wonder of the world. So what do you recommend here? What do I recommend? Marvin, it's Applebee's. Look at the menu. I recommend all of it. Everything here is cooked fresh in the microwave. Uh, mate, where's the blooming onion? <sighs> Simmons, that's Outback, the Australian Applebee's. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see if the chef has added anything new to the menu. Ooh, I've never seen this before. Chicken tenders platter. I can't decide between that or the Bourbon Street chicken and shrimp. And hello, what's this? Mountain Dew Dark Berry Bash. Don't mind if I do. It's like somebody nutted right in my mouth. I don't know why you would want salty nut in your mouth. There's pretzels on the menu. Yes, there are. Hi, thank you for coming to Applebee's. No, thank you for being Applebee's. My name's Clarissa. I'll be your server tonight. Can I start you off with a round of drinks? Yeah, let me get a Sip of you, your tall glass of water looking ass. I'm parched. Uh, sir, how about I start with you? Oh, I'll have a Captain Bahama Mama. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're out of those. Well, of course you are. I mean, Applebee's is so busy. I can't believe you guys could keep it in stock. Okay, so I'll have a Coke instead. Is Pepsi okay? Oh, fuck. No. No, it is not. Okay, you know what? I'll just have a water. You know, a round of waters for the whole table. See, that's the one downside of Applebee's. All they have is Pepsi products. Ugh. Okay, I'll be right back with those. You know, I actually think we're ready to order. Oh, go ahead. Now, what comes on the kids' cheese pizza? Cheese. Okay, but what kind of cheese? Are we talking Manchego, Munster, Gouda? Because I know the chef likes to have a cheese of the week. Whatever's imported. Oh, no, he doesn't. It's mozzarella. Ooh, fancy. And how is that prepared? Is that thin crust or stuffed crust? It's microwaved. <laughs> Ooh, I'll have that. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. You can't. It's 12 or under. What? You have to be 12 years old or under to order off the kids' menu. Oh, well in that case, my son is coming later and he wants the kids' cheese pizza. Oh, okay, then what would you like to eat? Nothing, but my son wants the kids' cheese pizza. You're not eating? No, but my son wants the kids' cheese pizza, so get me a goddamn kids' cheese pizza. My son's not really coming later. I just really wanted the kids' cheese pizza. It's exactly the right amount of food. It's not too much. You can take someone else's order now. Gee, I mean, can you believe this? I mean, it's not like they're gonna check my ID and see how old I am. It's not like there's food police that are gonna come arrest me if you give me the wrong pizza. I said you can take a different order! Sir, what would you like to eat? I'll have the steak, not microwaved. Oh, how would you like that cooked? On the grill? No, I mean your temperature. Well done. Okay, anything else? I want Outback! Simmons, down boy! Sir, what would you like to eat? Shit, I'm starving like a motherfucker. I can eat a quadruple cheeseburger for real, for real. Ooh, ordering off the secret menu. Hey, my guy, my guy, he knows. <laughs> oh, and I want a steak. How would you like that cooked? Shit, on your fine ass, on that wagon back though? Yeah, medium well. Uh, sir, what would you like? Uh, can I just get a cheeseburger? Yes, okay. Oh, y'all see the fine ass waitress? Ooh, I'll pat that ass right now. Yes, I would also have sex with the waitress. What about you, Simmons? Would you have sex with the waitress if the opportunity presented itself? No, I only like having sex with your mom. Ew, but I'm not gonna let that ruin my good time here at Applebee's. What about you, Marvin? Sex with the waitress? Does she have a disease? Uh, Come on, Marvin! Come on, take a chance! Take no. a chance! Marvin, this is Applebee's. She's an Applebee's waitress. She's not gonna have a disease. I'm pretty sure they check. Well, um... Does my wife find out? Oh, Jesus, Marvin, Jesus. Just, just say yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, that's my boy right there, you dirty old dog. bastard. Oh, you nasty. You, you. All right, here's your food. Does everything look okay? I mean, your cute ass ain't butt naked on my plate right now, so. Sir, please stop. Marvin, if that's not just the freshest mozzarella cheese I've ever seen, bone dry. I can't wait to take the first bite of that. 
I, I mean, I can't wait until my son takes the first bite. I'm eating this pizza. I know. And what's this? Mott's applesauce? Tell the chef I love him. Let me know if you need anything. Damn, PP, look at that burger. They gave you the whole cow. <laughs> I didn't know my ex-wife was on the menu. <laughs> well, guys, let's eat up. We still have to hit the casino after this. Hey, Marvin, you want to see my happy cheese pizza face? I love this pizza. All right, guys, we gotta eat. <laughs> oh, Marvin, that kid's cheese pizza sure hit the spot. I'm glad you enjoyed your kid's pizza, sir. Yeah, and that Mott's applesauce cup? Mwah, my compliments to the chef. It's store-bought. Well, someone picked it. Sir, it looks like you enjoyed your food. You ate almost all of it. Yeah, I was making room for dessert. So come lay your fine ass on this plate, or sit on Big Daddy's mustache and I'll give you a licking. <laughs> Okay, are you all paying on one check or paying separately? Uh, police officers eat for free, right? No. I didn't like mine. You ate almost all of it. But I asked for well done and it wasn't well done. You ate almost all of it. Uh, ma'am, could you give us a second, please? Okay. Okay, so who's paying? Y'all ass! I was invited! I, I didn't even want to come here! I have food at the house, I am a chef, I can cook! Y'all are cops! Y'all got buku cash! Pay for it! Yeah, I only brought $20. Mm, okay, I have an idea. Uh, waitress! Yes? My my friend Marvin here says you're really hot and he would have sex with you if he could. What? No, you guys said you would. No, no, he said he would pat your ass right now on this table on top of this place. No, y'all said y'all would pat. Sir, how are you paying for the check? Ah, oh, shit, Marvin, that didn't work. I have another idea. Uh, what's that, dispatch? There's a shooting and kids! Oh, no, man, we gotta go right now. Those two aren't cops. Uh, yes, they are. They're, they're undercover cops, right, officers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, aye, aye, Captain. Yes, yeah, so... aye, aye, Captain. Uh, yeah, three of us are cops and one of us is a pirate, so let's go! All right, boys, let's bankrupt these scammers. Appreciate you, bro, for spotting me $20. I was broke as a joke. I'll just spend it wisely. Ooh, thanks, Dad. Oh, don't worry. We're going to leave this casino millionaires. You hear that, bitch? We're going to own this casino. <laughs> what do you think it's going to land on, Marvin? What does 1 to 12 mean? Well, apparently it's the age you have to be to order a fucking cheese pizza at Applebee's. Oh, well, I'm going to put it on that. What about you, Simmons? Black. Where? Uh, oh, so, sorry. My, my cop instincts kicked in. You meant on the table. I'm going to go with boobies. They never fail me. It never lands on double zero. I'm going to bet on the age of consent. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> not, not 13. I, I'm a cop. I, I actually know the age of consent. Not the age of consent in Japan. Look it up. It's true. It, it was 13 until just this year. They bumped it up to 16. I guess that's progress. Okay, bitch, spin that shit. Come on, come on, 18, 18! Black, black, black! Where, where, where? Come on, double zero, come on, double zero! Make me a millionaire! Seventeen. Yes, I won! Shit, I was one off. That has to count for something, right? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Wait, wait, did I win? Was it one to twelve? Is seventeen between one and twelve? No. No, only Simmons won. All right, give me my money, baby! Okay, guys, we only got one bet left. Well, I got three. I'm gonna stick with my boobies. It never lands on that. I'm gonna go all in on red. Hmm, tempting. But I'm gonna put it on the number of times I've cheated on my wife. Twenty-eight. I've counted. Um, what does odd mean? Really, Marvin? It means if it lands on an odd number. Okay, well, can you put mine on even for me? Okay, yeah, fine. <sighs> okay, ho! Could you spin that, please? Come on, 28! Come on, 28! Red, red, red! Double zero! Woo! Yeah! That's right, bitch! I'm a millionaire! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, come here, ho! <laughs> Mmm, I'm a millionaire! You know it only pays out $350, right? And you owe me 20 of that. Shit, I don't know you. All this money going to the strip club for some hoes. I want two! What are you talking about, Simmons? It landed on double zero. That's green. No, it's red. Wait, wait Simmons, are you colorblind? What's that? What color is this, Matt? Uh, red? Oh, Jesus, you're colorblind. Wait, did I win? No, Marvin, it landed on double zeros. You bet on even numbers. Well, double zero is even. What are you talking about? It, well, each person gets zero. But what? I mean, look, if we had one apple, then we have an odd amount of apples, right? But if we each had an apple, that's an even amount of apples. But if we both had no apples, we evenly have nothing. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, wait, wait a minute, did he win? No, 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 this is bullshit. I want to talk to the manager. Yeah, I definitely won. Get the manager. Is there a problem here, gentlemen? Yeah, Marvin, you tell him what you told me. Okay, so I bet on even numbers, and it landed on double zero? Correct. So did I win? No. Well, well you see, double zero is an even number, because each person gets zero. 
And double zero is exactly how many house payments you've made this month, Marvin. So why the hell are you spending money in my casino? It was only twenty dollars. Get the fuck out! Okay. Uh, uh, what about my friend? He's colorblind, and zero looks red to him. Get the fuck out. Okay, let's go to the strip club. Uh, can someone grease the pole, please? Oh, sweet Jesus. If I had any money left, I'd give it to her, and she'd forget I existed. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you willing to do for three dollars? Uh, nothing. You're a cop. Oh, damn it, Simmons. We're still dressed like cops. Of course she's not willing to have sex with you in exchange for three dollars. Uh, ma'am, we are cops, but when we get off duty, you should talk to him. He's a very nice man. Okay, whatever. I want to leave. No, Marvin, come on. Have some fun. Look at the bitch. That's someone's daughter. I have a daughter. Ma'am, what do I have to do to make sure my daughter doesn't end up like you? Don't kick her out of the house at 16. Okay, I'll write that down. But what about 18? I don't know. I didn't make it that far. How many kids do you have? Four and a half. What does half mean? Oh, all right, bitch. I got $350 in one. So let me see that ass twerk a little bit. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. Meet me in the bathroom right now. Oh, what's wrong, Simmons? Are you sad that she wouldn't have sex with you for $3? Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. You think the next stripper will do it? No? Okay, well, how about this? I got one more dollar. You think we can do it for four? Yeah, yeah, we'll get her to do it. Next stripper, please! Coming up next on stage, we have Clarissa. Oh, no way. No fucking way, boys. It's the Applebee's waitress. Hi! Hey, you guys again? You walked out without paying your bill. Yeah, well, we had a really important call. At the casino! <laughs> Actually, they robbed us. Well, that came out of my pay. Oh, well, sorry. Is that why you're dancing here? I work two jobs to provide for my son. Well, that's sad. Simmons, ask her the question. Ma'am, what are you willing to do for $4? Nothing. Leave me alone. Oh, look, you made Simmons sad. Look, please, he really just wants to have sex with a woman tonight for a ridiculously small amount of money. Well, I really need the money. Okay. Wait, so that's a yes? Yes. Get on the ground, bitch! What? You're under arrest! What? what? Yeah, you're under arrest for prostitution. We got her, Simmons. Yeah, I always get him with the puppy dog eyes. Wait, wait, what's going on? Oh, every week me and Simmons go to strip clubs to see if we can arrest the strippers for prostitution. Simmons usually does get them. She's gonna lose her job at Applebee's. Yeah. Hey, what you doing with my girlfriend? Get him, Greg. I got you, baby. Oh, look, Simmons, a challenger. Get him, Marvin. What, me? What you want, old man? Uh, no, nothing. I don't want anything. Marvin here said he was gonna pap your girlfriend. What? I, I didn't say I'd pap. They, they said they'd pap, and I, I said I'd pap. It was at Applebee's. Me and you outside right now. I'm gonna beat your ass. What? Go on, Marvin. Kick his ass. Wait, no, I'm gonna lose. Come on, Marvin. It's a classic strip club fight. You got him. He looks like a bitch. What? I, I can't fight. I'm not Come gonna... on, Marvin. You can do it. No. Uh... Marvin, what happened to you? He had the time of his life, that's what happened. Oh, well, I'm glad you enjoyed your boys' night out. No, Marvin, I know you lost that fight, but we arrested that guy and he's in jail for assault now. A fight? Oh, yeah, uh, it was at Applebee's. They only gave him four mozzarella sticks and things got pretty heated. Oh my god, guys, I had the night of my life. Man, boys' night out, that was a blast. I had burgers, cash, and ass. Woo! Talk about a night to live for. Ooh, man, we need to do this more often. <laughs> ass? What is he talking about? Oh, uh, we, we went to a donkey show at Applebee's where, uh, where the donkeys, they, they get up on stage and dance. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, anyway, me and Simmons are going to go back to selling calendars. Come on, Simmons, let's get on the invisible police horse. PJ Crenshaw. Here, Jamie's Crenshaw. Jamie Jam's Crenshaw. Ah! Yep, that's my name. I just wanted to see if you guys wanted to come to my party tonight. The dress code is PJ's only. Of course we want to go to your party, PJ. We'll go right now. Yeah, dude. Why? I thought we were going to Chuck E. Cheese. Jeffy, if PJ Crenshaw invites you to a party, you don't say no. Yeah, you can't turn it down, dude. Okay, I guess we'll go in your party. Everyone get in your car. Wait, that's your car? Yeah. <laughs> nice car. Thanks. Not. <laughs> Wait, do you like my car or not? No, bro, it's a piece of crap. Si, si, es muy caca. Yeah, you guys can't come to my party in that thing. Okay, well, we'll just walk to your party. No, now that I've seen your car, I know how lame you are, and I can't be seen with you guys at my party, so get a new car, you guys can't go. Well, wow, good going, Jeffy. Since you have a crappy car, we can't go to PJ's party. Yeah, thanks, dude. Well, it's not my fault I don't have the money for a new car. Drag racing. What? 
Yeah, if you try drag racing like in Fast and Furious, you can get enough money for a new car. Oh my that god. savage, dude. You should do it. Yeah, you should go find a random guy to race on the road and then say, hey, I'll, I'll bet you money I can beat your car in a race. And then when you can buy a new car, we go to PJ's party. Okay, I guess I'll go try to find a drag race. took you so long. Who taught you how to drive like that? My dad used to be a race car driver. Must have sucked. I guess you're gonna take my car. Here's my pink slip. Nah, fair. What are you doing here? I want to race and win money. Oh, we don't race for money here. We race for pink slips. Well, I don't know what that is. If I win, I get your car. But if I win, I get your car? Oh, you're not going to be racing me. You're not ready for that. You're going to be racing him. Are you ready to be eating my dust? I don't need anything but ass. Good luck, kid. You're going to need it. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, he's gonna get a ticket? Like you like that shit. Now give me those keys. No. Give me the keys. Give him the keys. But then I won't have a car. Sorry, you're not family. Oh. Ooh, Richard, your dad is a asshole. Well, no, no, your dad is this. A deadbeat. No, no, your dad has a lot of stuff in his bank account, so he is a business owner. No, your dad is this. A piece of shit because he won't let me spend money. But if he let you spend money, he would be a good dad. You know, your oh my god, the time was the time was gone. Your dad is a asshole. Oh my god. Hey guys. Oh, Jeffy, did you win a race to get some money to buy a new car? No, I lost to a Lamborghini. Why the fuck would you try to race a Lamborghini? Yeah, what's wrong with you, dude? A PT Cruiser can't beat a Lamborghini. Yeah, dumbass. If you want to beat a Lamborghini, the only car that can do that is my dad's Porsche 911. Wait, your dad has a car that can beat a Lamborghini? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I know this is asking for a lot. But is there a way that we can borrow that car so that we can go beat other cars in races so we can get enough money to buy us a cool car? You'll piss off my dad, but sure, I'll go get the keys. <gasps> oh my god! I am Groot. What? I just feel like one day I'm gonna be Groot. I am Groot. Well, well, well. Look who got themselves a big old car. Yeah, and I want to race you! Oh, you're not ready to race me. And besides, I'm not done with my boss. You're gonna race him. Again. Ooh, Blue's my favorite color! Give me that shit! Good luck, kid. Yeah. Good luck. I'm about to have me a boss! On your mark, get sad, go! <laughs> Damn, the kid actually did it. <laughs> I can't believe I lost to a 911. How ironic. Now give me that shit. <laughs> Am I family now? Not yet. First, you gotta beat him. Perfect. What's good? I'm rocking the Hennessy Camaro, cause that's all I drink. Show this kid who's boss. Aye. 
Good luck, kid. There's a thousand ponies under the hood of that car. I'm about to win me a Porsche, man, so I can pull up my Hennessy. On your mark. <laughs> This kid just keeps winning. I think you're finally ready to race me. No, Vin Diesel, what if you lose? Family. You're about to learn what family is. deserve to have my car. Yo, family. Family. <laughs> Thank you so much for not taking my fucking car. It's so expensive. It's my whole personality. Vin Diesel, look. I am Groot. I want to race you to win my Lamborghini pack. Actually, I want to race you for all your cars. <laughs> Good luck. He's been beating everybody today in that 9-11. Oh, for I'm going to do favors the 9-11. Run that shit. All right, family, kick his ass. On. On your mark, get set, go! Come on, family, you got this. Kids, you can't beat a Tesla. Family! Now we lost all our cars. Damn it! Well, at least we have family. Shut up! Hey, guys. Ooh, Jeffy, how much money did you win by using the Porsche? Well, I wasn't racing for money. I was racing for cars. And at one point, I won a Lamborghini and a Camaro. Oh, my God. That means we could take a Lamborghini to the party? We're going to look so cool. No, I ended up losing the cars to a Tesla. Why the fuck would you race a Tesla? Nothing can beat that. Wait, so you lost... Richard's dad's Porsche in a race? Yeah. Oh, Richard, how mad are you? Oh, I'm not mad. My dad deserves it. He's a piece of shit. Wait, guys, I just realized we could have just taken the Porsche to the party. Hmm. Shit. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, we could have just asked to borrow it for the party. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Logan. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that during the filming of this video, I broke my back in a car accident. I was actually driving the red Camaro in this video. That's the car that I crashed in. And the reason why it crashed was because if you notice in the video, we were doing a lot of burnouts and that car had a thousand horsepower and we took the, it actually burned the tread off the tire from doing so many burnouts. So when I raced at the end of the drag strip and I tried to stop, the tires didn't get traction and it wouldn't stop. And the car kind of just skidded into a ditch and uh, my car went in the air and it landed really hard and that's what broke my back. So I'm in this back brace for 12 weeks. It's gonna be a long recovery. Um, I'm, on, I'm on a lot of pain medicine, so right now I'm feeling okay, but when it wears off, I'm in a lot of pain. So um, this is the last video I had saved. So we don't have any new videos saved right now. I'm going to try to film tomorrow to try to get you guys at least two videos a week. I, I don't know if I'll be able to do three, but you know, it's, it's just so hard to edit while on the pain medicines. It's so hard to film while in pain and I, I can't really move a lot. And this is some of the worst pain I've ever been in. Like this morning, cause I broke my back four days ago and this morning was the worst pain I've ever felt this morning. I don't know why it's getting worse, but I just wanna let you guys know that there are new videos coming. I'm going to try to film for you guys. I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Um, I was going to try to make it longer, but <laughs> after I wrecked, there really wasn't much I could do. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, please be patient. I'm going to try to get out as fast as possible. Ugh, carry the foreign. Ugh. Hey, Bonnie, what you doing? I'm doing our taxes. Oh, how's that going? Not good? No, Karen, not good. We're not making enough money and we're spending too much. And what little we do have left over is getting taken by Uncle Sam. Yeah, Uncle Sam's stealing our money? F*** him! No, Karen, Uncle Sam is the government. They need our money to spend on roads or something, but I don't know why that's my problem. I don't drive on all the roads. Just bill me for the ones I do use. They could just print more money anyway. Well, are we getting any money back this year? Yeah, like $200. That's I don't have any petties, Karen. Neither do you. Oh. Yeah. God, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I have all these jobs, but I'm not a CPA. God, I hate the IRS. If I could talk to them, I'd tell them to suck my butt. Boyne, that's icky. That's potty mouth talk. Nope, that's what I'd say. I'd say suck my butt. Boyne, that's too much. Nope, I think that's just right. Suck my butt. Boyne, cut it out. They're butt suckers, Karen. Ugh, I'm just going to check our bank account and see if we got our money. Yeah, see if those butt suckers paid us. Holy baloney, Boyne. We got $200,000 from the IRS. Haha, <laughs> funny joke, Karen, but it's not making me feel any better. No, Boydie, look! Let me see that. IRS deposit $200,000. Karen, do you know what this means? The IRS made a mistake and we gotta give them their money back? No, no, this means I did our taxes so good, they're rewarding me by giving me $200,000. Boydie, I don't think they do that. No, no, I think I heard about this. I, I think if you do your taxes perfectly, they give you a bunch of money. Boydie, I think we should call the IRS and tell them they made a mistake. No, fuck that. If I make a mistake, I go to jail. If they make a mistake, they get their money back? No, that's not fair. I don't like that. Well, Boydie, what should we do? Hmm. Well, I think you're right, Karen. I think we we should go to Applebee's and talk this over before we commit tax fraud. I didn't say any of that. But you were thinking it. No. Nope. Come on, Karen, you're right. We should get wonton tacos. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Karen, I just don't know what to eat first. Should I start with my four cheese mac and cheese honey pepper chicken tenders or the wonton tacos? No, Boiny, the wonton tacos are mine. I call dibs. Oh, Karen, we have $200,000 of IRS money. We can always afford more. We already have so much food, Boiny. Hello, can I get you guys anything? Yes, I'll have five more spinach artichoke dips. These are lonely. Sir, are you sure you need ten artichoke dips? Need? No. Deserve? Yes. It's not every day the IRS accidentally sends you $200,000 and you keep it instead of giving it back so you can spend it all on Applebee's. Yes, you told me that several times already. I just want to make sure everybody knows. Well, it must be nice. Oh, yes, it is. It is very nice. Well, sir, in that case, would you like to round up to the nearest dollar on your bill to help save starving children? No, they're good. I think my tax money will take care of them. It's not like I see them anyway, and if I can't see them, they're not starving. I mean, I'm not starving. Boyne! Karen. I see you don't have anything to drink. Would you like me to bring you something? Hmm, yeah, I think I want something from the top shelf. Yeah, I think I'll have a two-liter bottle of Coke Zero for the table. Oh, I'm sorry. We only have Pepsi products. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. I guess just bring me a two-liter bottle of piss, then, because it's basically the same thing. Boyne! No, no, Karen, I am a $200,000 heir and I will be treated as such. Well, actually, after all this food, I'm going to have less than that. And I already bought this suit for $2,000 at Men's Warehouse, so I actually, I, I'm a $198,000 heir. But still, I have a lot of money and I deserve to be treated differently because of that. Boyne, you're just a regular guy. No, I'm not, Karen, I'm not a regular guy. I am Brooklyn T guy. I'm him, okay? I carry this shit. We're at almost four minutes in the second scene because of me. All right, well, just let me know if you need anything else. More dip, and also some dessert cake. I don't think she heard me. Hey, Marvin, you want some dessert cake? What? Dessert. <laughs> I'm so full from all the Applebee's I just ate. Sorry. It's dessert cake from Applebee's. Do you want it? Um, no, I'm on a diet. <laughs> well, it's pretty good. I, I mean, at least I think I, it's good. I, I'm still full from the $600 of Applebee's I just ate, hence the burping. Well, you spent $600 on Applebee's? Yeah, yeah, because I got it like that, Marvin. Ask me how my wallet got so fat. Your, your wallet's fat? Oh, it's so fat, Marvin. It needs gastric bypass surgery from how fat it is. It needs like one of those little scooters at Walmart to go around the store because because that, that's how fat my wallet is. It's like those fat people from WALL-E, you know, like halfway through the movie when they go up into the spaceship and there's all those fat people. All of those people are my wallet. Okay, how'd your wallet get so fat? Well, the IRS sent me $200,000. Why would they do that? Because my shit don't stink, Marvin. Did you get $200,000 from the IRS? No. Oh, you got stinky shit. That's true. When he leaves the bathroom, it does stink. Exactly, Marvin. My shit smells like daisies. No, seriously, why did the IRS send you $200,000? It was probably a mistake, but hey, I'm living large. Well, what are you going to do when they find out? You're going to go to jail. They're not going to find out, Marvin. It's just a measly $200,000. They make like trillions. They're not going to notice. Okay, but when they do notice, you're going to go to jail. No, I'm not. And I'm going to call them butt suckers because they're butt suckers. What? They're butt suckers, Marvin. The IRS stands for internal rectum suckers. <laughs>
Yeah, that's right. So the reason I'm here, I wanted to know, speaking of rectum sucking, if you wanted to go to the strip club with me. Marvin can't go to the strip club. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Well, here's $300. Go buy yourself some Applebee's. Marvin's coming with me. Oh, okay! What? Oh, 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 grab all of it. Make sure you get all of it. Come on, Marvin, let's go to the strip club and suck some butt. <sighs> Excuse me, miss. I have one money. Can I see boobies? All right, Ricky, beat it. Again? But if I do that, I'll go to jail again. No, not that, Ricky. I mean, get out of here. Oh, okay. Who's that? That's Ricky. He beats off at the strip club. Come on, Marvin. Throw money with me. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Marvin. You think if I gave her 50 grand, she'd bang me? Yeah. Okay. Let me ask. Uh, excuse me, miss. Uh, would you have sex with a guy for fifty thousand dollars? Yeah. Huh, what a coincidence! I happen to have fifty thousand dollars right here. Oh my god! Last night I banged someone for fifty dollars. Oh, you did? Oh, well, maybe my starting bid was a little too high. Well, now I need to make her not want me. Um, excuse me, ma'am. I, I have to tell you, I have AIDS. Ew! Yeah, sorry. Okay, we'll lowball the next tripper. Coming up next on stage, we have Clarissa. Marvin, Marvin, that's the Applebee's waitress. Oh, God, you again? You just spent $600 at Applebee's and only tipped me $10. Yeah, you're welcome. You know, the IRS accidentally gave me $200. Yes, yes, I know. You told me like nine times at dinner. Yeah, well, I have about $150,000 left, so I was thinking maybe we could try to make that $149,990. $10? Yeah, for me and Marvin Eiffel Tower, yeah. Oh, I've always wanted to go to Paris. Oh, no, not like that. See, basically, like, um, like I would be on one side with my hand up. No, 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 we're not gonna do that. Shut up. Oh, come on, Marvin, I have money. She'll do it. So we're not going to France? Hmm, actually. Hey, Marvin, you wanna go to Paris? Well, Marvin, Paris is really nice. I don't really see a lot of black people, though, so I don't really get the song. What? You, you know, the song that Kanye West and Jay-Z song, N-Words in Paris. I just, based on the song, you'd think there would be a lot of them. I just, I haven't really seen many. I think the song was based on them being in Paris. Oh, yeah, that actually makes a lot more sense. I like the Eiffel Tower, though. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. That actually looks pretty much exactly like what we did to that stripper for $10. You know what? Actually, I say we go back to the hotel and pay her another $10 to do it again. Yeah, I think we should. Ugh, jet lag, am I right, Marvin? Where have you been? Oh, we went to Paris. France? Yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we both said yes at the same time. Three round trip tickets, first class. Three? Who did you take with you? Uh, uh, some strip. No, it's some girl. Wait, no, you were gonna be the girl that we took, but we didn't think you wanted to go, so he just bought an empty seat so he could have more leg room. Aw, I would have gone. Yeah, well, the tickets were like $30,000, and the room was ten grand. but I mean, it did have a view of the Eiffel Tower, meaning it had a mirror next to the bed. What? <laughs> uh, no, nothing, nothing, let's just watch TV. Breaking news, McKay! The IRS has accidentally deposited large amounts of money into people's bank accounts. If you've received a large amount of money on accident into your bank account, do not spend it. If you did spend it, you'll be in big trouble and Uncle Sam will give you a spanking. Jinkies. Right, guys? Jinkies? Damn right, Jinkies! You're gonna spank it by Uncle Sam! No, 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 no. I only spent half of it. I still have 100000 left. I think the IRS would be very proud of me for telling them I only spent half. Especially if I tell them what we spent it on, right, Marvin? Wait, what did you spend it on? Oh, I'll get it, even though this isn't my house. No, I'll get it. Yes? Hey there, I'm Uncle Sam, and I'm looking for a Brooklyn the guy. I'm him. My shit don't stink. Now, I highly doubt that. Did you happen to receive $200,000 deposited in your bank account from the IRS? Yes, I did. Thank you. That was very generous. How did you know my birthday is in four months and I like to receive large amounts of money early as a gift? Oh, 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 oh. I guess you didn't think that was funny. Now you're gonna pay me back that money, boy, or Uncle Sam is gonna give you a spank on it. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad. In court. Come on, boy. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer, and today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who received a $200,000 deposit into his bank account from the IRS. Ooh, money, money. But that was apparently an accident, and he spent the money anyway, knowing it was not his to spend. 
Brooklyn guy, tell me what happened. Shit, your honor, when I saw that 200 thou in my bank account, I thought, man, a brother can finally breathe, you feel me? I've been paying my taxes for the last 25 years doing everything right. So I figured that was just a little gift for being such a law-abiding citizen, you know, like a, like a stimulus check or something. Hmm, I see. That does make sense. I could understand how you would think they were rewarding you for being so compliant by paying your taxes all these years, like some sort of random IRS lottery. Uncle Sam... Tell me your side. Well, you see, Your Honor, that boy knows that money wasn't his. It was my money to do with whatever I so desire. And if he don't pay it back, what I'm gonna desire to do is take this freaking hammer right here and beat his ass to death with it in front of all of y'all! Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh, Brooklyn guy, uh, can you pay him the money back? Your Honor, I only have 100,000 of it left. Wait, 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 I'll make another hundred thousand, I swear! You better! Okay, okay, uh, uh, Brooklyn guy, I order you to earn another one hundred thousand dollars to pay Uncle Sam back the two hundred thousand dollars that you spent that wasn't yours. Um... Go make the money. I'll be there tomorrow. Okay. Hey, Marvin. Nuggie, nuggie, nuggie. I'm assuming court went well since so you're in a good mood. Oh, yeah, it went fine. I have to pay all the money back. What? You have to pay it all back? Don't you only have 100000 left? Yeah. Well, well how are you going to make another $100,000? Oh, Marvin, I have an easy way to make $100,000. If making $100,000 so easy, then let us know how to do it. Yeah, we want to know. Okay, well, tonight is the NBA play-in tournament, and guess who's playing? The Miami Heat. Or should I call them the Miami Gets Beat? Because that's what they do. They get beat. Because Jimmy Butler is their whole team, and he would rather focus on his coffee company than play basketball. I thought you liked Jimmy Butler. Well, I did up until last year when he put on a tutu and danced around and pleasured the entire Denver Nuggets team. So I'm not going to be a fan of the Miami Heat again until they get a 3-0 lead in the finals, which, I mean, Miami will be long submerged by the ice caps melting before that ever happens. Okay, so how are you going to make an easy $100,000 off of that? Oh, yeah, yeah. So they're going up against the Philadelphia 76ers. So I checked the 76ers roster and check this out. Nobody on their team has a coffee company. You know what they do? It's fucking crazy. They play basketball. They the sport that they get paid to play. So that's why they're going to win, and so I bet all my money on the 76ers. So you bet $100,000 on the 76ers to win, and if they win, you get your money back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but what happens if the Miami Heat win? <laughs> Marvin, they're not going to win. They don't want to win. See, because Jimmy Butler, if he wins, he has to play more basketball, and he definitely doesn't want to do that. He wants to make coffee and country music or whatever the fuck it is he does these days. Okay, so if the Miami Heat do win, what are you going to do? Because then you'll be $200,000 in debt. Well, I mean, if Jimmy Butler doesn't drink his coffee and somehow wins, then I guess I'm going to have to flee the country because I'm going to be in so much IRS debt. But that's not going to happen, Marvin. But this video does come out before we know the results. So I guess you're going to have to use your imagination for how sad I'm going to be. Or how happy I am. Let's find out. So, guys, what do you want to do tonight? Oh, dude, you want to play playtime? Of course I want to play playtime. You want to play playtime, Cody? Sorry, guys. I think I'm losing my voice. I don't think I can play playtime today. Oh, that sucks. Uh... I'm just yanking your crank, guys. Let's play playtime. Yeah! Mom, where's Dad? Oh, he's probably still in the bed with his bum ass. Junior, breakfast is ready. I'm coming. I had to iron my suit and trim my mustache. For what? You don't even have a job, idiot. I have job in our news lineup today. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I believe it when I see it. I just want some orange juice. <laughs> Goddamn orange shoes expired! What if I had a man with a job? I can afford some up to date orange shoes! Who buys expired orange shoes? I do because the shit is cheaper! Let's not argue about money in front of Sally. Uh, you're right. You guys do that a lot. Oh, you wanna know how much debt we're in, Sally? You wanna know how much debt we're in? I bet the house at a casino, so now I owe $20,000 by the end of the week, and we're gonna lose the house, and I owe $20 to Papa Murphy. Oh, he's gonna castrate me. That seems impossible. If he pulls hard enough, it'll come off. Yeah, maybe it will. Well, at least someone would finally be pulling on it. Yeah, I only pull on things that make me money. Well, how about you sell your body again? We can make $2. I would, but I'm pregnant. Otherwise, I'd be walking up and down these streets having strangers all in my booty. Let's not talk about this in front of Sally. It's very inappropriate. Yeah, you're right. So, Sally, tell us about school. How's your grades? Well, I was gonna wait to tell you guys, but I'm in Spanish honors. What? The fuck did you just say? Well, there's like normal Spanish, and then there's Spanish honors for people who are really good at it. You've never spoke one goddamn word of Spanish since you came out of her puss. Yeah, I have never heard a drop of Spanish. Say something Spanish. Yeah, say some Spanish honors for us. Uh, hola. 
Come oh, on! Mary Gas, baby! Even I've seen Lilo and Stitch, and I know Ola means family. Mm -hmm. Dad, that's Aloha. What's Aloha? It's Hawaiian. Hey, in Hawaii! You're speaking English! Hawaii is a U.S. state! So what do you mean you're speaking Hawaiian? We are, we're speaking Hawaiian right now! She doesn't know her state! Yeah, name all 50 states. Start with Hawaii. All of them? Name them. Uh, okay, there's Hawaii. Exactly! Hawaii is a U.S. state, so mm -hmm. we're speaking Hawaiian right now! Well, but that's a different language. I'm speaking Florida right now. I'm speaking Alabama right now. Yeah? Speak some goddamn Spanish before I smack you upside your lopsided fucking alcoholism face. Don't do it, baby. Uh, I, I'm sorry, okay? Uh, uh, um... N Naranja means orange. Oh. The fuck did she just say? That's, you know what? That's it. You're not going on your high school trip to Iran. Mm -mm. Oh, but Dad, we already did the paperwork and we paid for it and everything. Nope, you're going to miss that high school trip to Iran because no way you're speaking Iran right now. Well, but, but what am I going to tell my boyfriend, Corbin Blue? We were supposed to go together. I don't like him. He busts out in song everywhere he goes. I don't want him in my life and I don't want him in yours. You're not going to Iran and that's final. I hate you guys. <laughs> It's okay. She'll get over it. Yeah. You know, I don't... Uh, listen, I'm gonna go to my job interview. What the fuck is on my plate, bitch? It's a croissant and oranges! What the hell are you talking about? You forgot to name one last thing on my plate. What is that? Oh, shit, a cockroach. <laughs> I mean, you eat the first word, but I'm not eating a roach. Well, well look, if we had a money for an exterminator, we wouldn't have this problem, okay? Call an exterminator, because ain't no way a <laughs> goddamn cockroach is on my plate. Well, get a damn job! Maybe we can afford one! I'm going to get $20,000 by the end of the day, so you call an exterminator. <sighs> I would love to see that shit. Welcome to PUPJ's Garbage Emporium. What makes you think you have what it takes to be a garbage man? Well, I know trash really well because I've been married to a piece of trash for a couple years now. Okay, cool, cool. I don't shower every day, so I'm kind of stinky. Okay, great. We love to see that here. And I'm desperate for a job. Okay, well, do you have your CDL? Uh... I know my ABCs. Okay, great. Yeah, you're hired. What, I am? Okay, so what's the pay looking like? About $50,000 a year. Okay, I need a huge favor. Is there any way I can get $20,000 of that up front? Uh, no, I can't do that. Wh why not? Well, I'm not going to give you $20,000 of your yearly salary before you even start. You're not a professional football player. I promise. Look, look, what would you do if I worked really hard? Like, I picked up trash better than anyone's ever picked up trash before. At the end of the week, what could you give me? Like a thousand bucks. Okay, I, th I think I could do that. Wait a minute. There's 50-something weeks in a year. That's only $50,000 a year. Yeah, exactly. Oh, come on, man. I... Whatever, fine, I'll do it. I need to start picking up trash. Making my way downtown, picking up trash. It smells like ass so bad. Hey, garbage dude, I got another one for you. Uh, sorry, bub, the truck is full. I have to get that next week. What? Take my garbage, stink boy! Hey, man, the truck is full. There's nothing I can do about it. And plus, you put your recyclables in the regular trash, so I should write you up. Okay, I had a big party, all right? I had a lot of trash. Oh, yeah, what party were you celebrating? Labor Day. Oh, what Labor Day? You don't even have a job. Oh, a job like a garbage man? Hey, I make $50,000 a year. That's more than a nurse, a cop, or a teacher. That's actually a lot. Yeah, I get paid a lot to carry your shit. Hey, babe, who's at the door? It's just some stupid, stinky garbage man. All right, that's it. I'm not taking this trash. You can keep that. Don't throw my trash at me, asshole. Oh, yeah, what are you going to do about it, little I bitch? I'm going to beat you up. Wait a minute. If he beats me up, I can get workers' comp, and I might get that $20,000 I need. Hey, bub, what's this trash bag and your girlfriend have in common? I've only had sex with one of them, your girlfriend. What? Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, oh call an ambulance. Oh, call an ambulance, please. Oh, I got punched in the face. Oh. Oh, on the job, too! Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo! The ambulance is here! Oh, God, not you. You slept with my wife. I'm in so much pain. What seems to be the problem, mister? I got punched in the face while on the job, so now I need workers' comp. Tell my boss. You look okay. I promise I'm not okay. I think I have brain damage. I don't think I'll ever be able to work a day in my life. Please just take me to the hospital and call my boss. Okay, let well, me put you in the ambulance. Uh, get in. Oh, get in there, damn it. We will, we will, we will. Junior, I got a call that you got hurt on the job. Is that true? Yes, boss, it's true. I got punched in the face while on the job, while I was in uniform, because the guy doesn't like garbage workers. So if I would have never had this job, I would have never gotten hurt. So now I need $20,000 in pain and suffering. Uh, I guess I could do that, as long as the doctor can prove you actually got hurt. Oh, I'm hurt. He just took an x-ray. Hey, I'm back with your x-ray. You're totally fine. Wait, so does that mean I have to pay him? No, he's totally okay. No, doctor, I am hurt. You better scan me again. But too many x-rays to give you cancer. I don't care. Scan me, and then I'll get cancer.
cancer for being hurt on the job, and then he owes me more money. Listen, Junior, I'm gonna have to fire you. You get in a fight on your first day. That's just not how my stink boys act. Oh, I lost my job! Well, we also got your hospital bill. That's $5,000 for the ambulance, and that's $5,000 for the X-ray. I can't afford that! I'm $20,000 in debt, and now I have no job! Sorry, bud. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Oh, I gotta fix myself up. Hope it's a big, sexy, strong man. Uh, hello? Hola, you call Avocado Pest Control Services? Uh, yes I did, but why are you avocado? Because I bet you avocado don't want boss in your house. Oh, you damn right! <laughs> Come on in! Ooh, a foreign man. <laughs> yeah, show me where the boss are. Ooh, right this way, sexy. All the bugs are on my kitchen table! Holy fucking shit, that's a fuck time boss. Die, boss! Die! Die, boss! Die! He's not working. It's time for the hammer. Die, boss! Die! That is a real man! I think I saw your bump problem. Honey, I'm home. Yeah, give me that Border Patrol penis. You want more sock cream for your chalupa? Oh yeah, fill me up, daddy. Ha play, ha play, ha play, ha play, ha play, ha play, ha play! That motherfucker high, ain't it? Yeah, you dropping it, ain't it? Ha play, now you want some of this churro? Oh yeah, give me that churro. What the hell is this? Sorry, baby! Oh, I didn't know you were coming home early! What the hell are you wearing? I got a job as a garbage man, and I got fired. Who's this? Oh, 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 this is Juan. He's the pest control guy. Hola, senor. I took care of your bugs, but I gave your wife crabs. Oh, you! <laughs> See, he's a real man. Don't be mad. He, if you would've saw him with that sledgehammer, you would've did the same thing! So you just have no standards now. You're just banging Mexicans. No, he just, he gets the job done! You would've got the job done, you would've got some poon! Oh, you know what? That's it. I'm voting Trump. <gasps> When Trump got shot in the ear, that was sick. Oh, I hate you! Boo hoo hoo, boo hoo cry, boo hoo sad. Huh? Corbin Blue, what are you doing sneaking through my bedroom window? I wanted to come see you before our class trip to Iran tomorrow. My dad says I'm not allowed to go to Iran. But, but it's supposed to be the trip of a lifetime. I know, but I can't go. And you were supposed to lose your fee card to me. Oh, that shit's long gone, buddy. I ran. I ran. Oh, Corbin, don't There's do this. a place in the south called the Caspian Sea. <laughs> When we fly there, yeah, we're gonna be uh -huh. in captivity. I ran, I ran. There's a place in the south of the Caspian Sea. When we go there, yeah, we're gonna be in captivity. What the hell is that saying? Is that Corbin Blue? Yes, Dad, can I please go to Iran? Oh, hell no, I told you no more Corbin Blue. Dress like a garbage man. Oh, I got a job as a garbage man, but I got fired. Garbage man! Garbage man! Get the hell out of here! Dad! I'm tired of you breaking out a song. No more schools where you can break out in song. But Dad! No butts! <laughs> Boo -hoo -hoo. Uh, who could that be at this time of night? Hello? Where's my money at home? Oh, I think it's right now. Just a second. Who could that be? Hello? Oh! Where the fuck's my money? Okay, I have, there's no way I have 20 grand. Oh, 20 grand! Where is it? You're gonna kill me. Oh, yeah, there's no way I'm fucking the money. Can do! Uh, that can't be anyone else asking for money. Hello? Oh! Oh, my well, oh, fuck you! That happened today! You can't come for the money! You have to give me at least 30 days! No! Oh, okay, okay, that's it! Call that playtime! No more playtime! Wait! No more! Yo, you guys have committed too much with the bat! 
and you hit me with my face in the face, and I actually am actually hurt. This isn't even make believe anymore. Oh, okay. No more playtime right now. I need I need some time to heal. Oh, sorry. Cody, I'm calling off playtime. Joseph, calling off playtime. Joseph, where are you at? Hop play, hop play, hop play, hop. Joseph. Oh, oh, my bad, dude. We just really in the character.
man, I can't wait to watch the Miami Heat win tonight. Go Heat! But Boyney, aren't they down three to one? Well, yes, but that's because Jimmy Butler wants a challenge. You see, because the only team to come back from a three to one deficit was LeBron James, and Jimmy Butler wants to outdo him. But Boyney, what would happen if they were to lose? They're not gonna lose, Karen. You know why? Because you can't spell heat without eat, which is what Jimmy Butler's gonna do to those nuggets, just like I'm gonna do to these nuggets. I'm gonna eat them up. Nom, 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 nom. Those nuggets suck. Well, not these nuggets. These nuggets are delicious. I mean, the Denver nuggets suck. Hey, Karen, guess what? It's Grimace's birthday today. What? You know, Grimace, Ronald McDonald's friend, today's his birthday. Oh, the purple one? Yeah, it's his birthday. And you know what he wanted for his birthday? For the Heat to win. I don't believe you, Boiny. I think you're lying. No, no, I'm not lying because me and Grimace are friends. We talk all the time. As a matter of fact, that's why he gave me his birthday shake. Oh, I want one. No, because you doubted the Heat. Because we are going to win tonight because of Jimmy Buckets. He's going to make us win. He's going to beat those Nuggets. Watch, he's going to eat them up. Nom, 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 nom. Hey, Boiny, who won your game? <gasps> why are you so sad, Boiny? Aw, oh, you didn't finish your chicken nuggets? Did they hurt your belly? Well, who won your basketball game, Boyney? The nuggets. <gasps> oh my god, the Heat lost? Is that why you're sad? No, Karen. If we had lost together as a team, I wouldn't be sad. I'd say, well, we tried. No, Karen, I'm sad because Jimmy Butler decided to choke the biggest, fattest, girthiest, veiniest dick. Oh, he did, Karen. He did it right there out in the court in front of God and everybody. They even caught it on video. You want to see? I warn you, it's pretty graphic, so shield your eyes. There's Jimmy Butler. We're down by one. He's right under the goal. We just need a two-pointer. And then all of a sudden he goes, here you go, other team. You take the ball. Maybe you'll know what to do with it. I just want to start choking on giant throbbing. Boyney! Well, he did, Karen. You saw it. Boyney, that one play didn't cost them the whole game. No, you're right, Karen. It wasn't just that one play. It was also this one. See? We're down by three. We just need a three to tie it. I don't know why the fuck they put the ball in Jimmy's hands. He's been sucking all night. And then Jimmy says, maybe if I throw the ball as fast as I can in the general direction of the goal while I'm covered and there's somebody right in my face, I can get back to sucking throbbing, veiny, giant- Bonnie, cut it out! Well, Karen, you saw the footage! Bonnie, they always have next year! No, they don't, Karen. We weren't even supposed to be here this year. We just got lucky. But what about Himothy? Him! Himmy! Himothy! Timothy cost us the game. Himmy should have just stayed his ass on the bench. We were doing better without him. Boyney, you don't mean that. You love him. Loved. Past tense. I hate him now. But Boyney, what about the back of your joints that you want to marry him? Yeah, well, now I want a divorce. <gasps> well, what did I do? From him, Karen. Boyney, I think you just need to go lie down. Yeah, I'm going to go lie down on the railroad tracks in front of a train so I get run over. Boyney! I'm gonna go take a shower, because I've been wearing this garbage bag all night, and I probably smell like shit, because Jimmy was playing like uh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me, Jimmy? Boyney, you're gonna have to turn the water on if you're gonna take a shower. No, I don't. My tears will be the water. Boyney, it's just a game! Oh, that wasn't even a game. That was just hand the ball to the Denver Nuggets so they can score and win and get their rings while Jimmy claps for them and hands them their trophy, and don't forget he sucked them all off. Boyney, don't start that again, and take your jersey off! It's gonna get wet! I can't take it off. It's melted to my body from the heat of that giant steaming shit pile that Jimmy left out on the court. You know, I didn't even know he was that backed up. It's probably from all the coffee. What? Have I told you about the coffee yet? No, Bonnie! You're talking nonsense. Either get, take a shower or get out. Okay. Hey, Boyney, I know what'll make you feel better. Do you want to fool around? I'm going to explain the coffee thing. So Jimmy has his own coffee company called Big Face Coffee, and he wants to be the biggest coffee brand in the world. Well, that's not going to beat Starbucks, Boyney. I love them. Yeah, maybe he should focus on playing basketball. You know, because he's a basketball player. Maybe if you win a goddamn championship, people will want to drink your coffee, Jimmy. Imagine this. Imagine saying, hmm, I'm drinking NBA champion Jimmy Butler's coffee. Doesn't that sound better than I'm drinking NBA loser Jimmy Butler's coffee? You can't even beat nuggets, Jimmy. How you expect to beat frappuccinos pumpkin spice pumpkin spice with sweet bus okay boyney calm down let's just get some sleep god damn it jimmy get your priorities straight boyney no, no i'm just trying to do the math do the math here with me karen let me figure this out I don't want to do the math, Boyney. No, 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 we're going to figure this out. Tell me why on game day he would decide to play cards with his friends while drinking coffee instead of going down to the court at 5 o'clock in the morning and shooting some hoops. You know, that's Kobe shit, but not Jimmy Butler. No, he wants to drink as much coffee as he can so he can have big IBS shits during the game. Boyney, if you're not going to bed, leave the room because I'm tired. You know who's not tired? Jimmy Butler because he's been drinking coffee all day and he didn't use up that energy on the court. So, hmm, I wonder where all that energy's going. Oh, I... I know. I bet he's going to use all that energy to suck big, fat, girthy... Good night, Boyney! <sighs>
didn't try. What the fuck was that? I could do that. Pay me a hundred million dollars to throw a ball at a hoop and just hope and drink coffee and play cards with my buddies. Hey, Dad! Oh, no, don't look, Penelope. You're not old enough. Daddy's watching an adult movie. No, you're not. You're just watching basketball. No, I'm watching Naughty Coffee Barista takes on Burly five-man basketball team. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't see what that grown man is doing to all the men on that other team? Um, missing a bunch of basketball shots? Oh, yeah, he's doing a lot of that, but where is his mouth? What? Well, you see, Penelope, when two basketball players love each other very much, they suck each other off, and Jimmy must love the Nuggets because he's the only one sucking. Ew, Dad! <sighs> go get me my lighter. What? Go get me my goddamn lighter and a pen and some lighter fluid. Why? Just go get it! Okay. <sighs> Here, Dad, why did you want all this stuff? I'm burning my jersey. Don't you think you're taking this basketball game a little too seriously? Hey, well, at least somebody's taking it seriously, because Jimmy sure didn't. He thought that was practice. He thinks the game's tomorrow. Is it? No, it was tonight, and they lost, because Jimmy thought it was opposite day. He thought the team with the least points won. He thought he was playing golf. Oh, so he lost? Penelope, get the hell out of here. You're starting to piss me off. Fine. <sighs> I loved this jersey. But Jimmy doesn't love basketball. No, he loves coffee. So this is what happens to this jersey. Make sure I put a lot of this on there. I want it to burn nice and good. <sighs> Goodbye, Jimmy. Some heat showed up today. That's not funny, Boiny. You could have burned the house down. I didn't say it was funny. None of this is funny. Cut the crap, Boiny, and take your sad eyes off. Oh, I'm afraid the sad eyes are gonna stay. For how long? For a very long time, until Jimmy Butler wins a championship. Boiny, that might never happen. Oh, it won't. Believe me, I know it won't. Boiny, why don't you become like a Brooklyn Nets fan? You know, because of your name, Brooklyn T guy. Wait, you know my name? Then why do you always call me Boiny? I thought you didn't know my name. I don't call you Boiny, Boiny. I call you. Why don't you call me Brooklyn? Because that's my name. But I like calling you Boiny. It's a thing. Okay, well, I'm not going to be a Brooklyn Nets fan. Who am I going to root for? Seth Curry? The lesser of the Currys? The underachieving one? He's the brother of Steph Curry, and I guess if you say his name fast enough, it sounds like that. I think you got that wrong, Boiny. Stephanie's a girl's name. Well, look, I'm not going to be a Brooklyn Nets fan. Well, Boiny, why don't you go back to work? Get your mind off things. Yeah, there's an idea. Everybody should do what they're paid to do, because it's their job, and not just throw it all away so that they can make coffee. Have you even tried this coffee, Boiny? I don't know where the fuck to buy it. Miami? Oh, that would make sense. Well, maybe if he won a championship, people would know where to buy his coffee. <sighs> but yes, you're right. Maybe I'll try to go to work. Boiny, put your clothes on! Hey, nurse, what do you got for me? Chester Cheetah overdose on Cheeto dust again. Oh, man, Chester. I think we should give him some Narcan and try to resuscitate him. Yeah, that sounds cool. Hey, could you check out this coffee I made in the break room? Doctor, I think we should focus on the patient. Yeah, you would think that we should probably do that because that's our jobs and that's what we get paid to do, but I want to try to start a coffee company. Doctor, I think we're losing him. Just try it real quick. Come on, take uh, a shot. It smells like a crappy cup of coffee. Do you think I could beat Starbucks? Doctor, I think we lost him. Oh. Well, never mind then. How was your day at work, Boiny? Well, I did a better job than Jimmy. I only killed one person. He killed the hearts of every Miami Heat fan. You killed someone today, Boiny? Yeah, I tried the Jimmy method. I got to work and then started my own coffee company. What does that have to do with killing someone? What does it have to do with basketball? Aren't they supposed to drink Gatorade or some shit? You know, coffee's a diuretic. He was probably dehydrated as fuck. I've never seen after the Super Bowl people run up and dump a bunch of coffee on their coach and give them third degree burns. Boiny, leave! Jimmy Butler alone. Oh, okay. I mean it, Boiny. What do you think he's doing right now? Not pouting like you. Yeah, of course not. He got paid a hundred million dollars just to drink coffee and give the ball to the other team. What? I'll get it. Are you gonna go get it, Boiny? Yeah. Go! Oh, I'm sorry. I was giving a Jimmy amount of effort. Ugh. Hello. Hello there. What did you? Jimmy Butler, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in all the Denver Nuggets houses blowing them? Well, I came by to explain myself. Oh, good, because I was really wondering why the hell you played like dog shit tonight. Well, you see, the Denver Nuggets have never won a championship before. But see, the Miami Heat, we've won three. So I felt bad and I let them win. 
Well, that does explain why you passed the ball directly to the other team when we were only down by one. Yeah, I tried to hide that the best I could, but whoops. Whoops, yeah, yeah, whoops. Well, I mean, I guess I understand why you let them win, but did you really have to suck them off, too? Well, listen, see, I'll try harder next season, and I'll win it all. Okay, well, that is good to know. Yeah, you want to buy some coffee? I would not, but I actually really recommend that you take this and drink this instead on game day. Well, no thank you. I like my coffee. Please, please take this. No, the coffee's good for me. No, I'm literally begging you, Jimmy. No, you hold on to that for me. Maybe practice next time? No, see you next season. Okay, Jimmy, uh, he didn't take it. Mm. Who was at the door, Boiny? Oh, nobody. Just a coffee salesman. At this time of night? Yeah. Was it Jimmy Butler? It was Jimmy Butler, yeah. Gonna go catch me some food. Wait, what's this? You are here. Hey, look, it's me. Meet me here. Creepy hut in the woods. Okay. saying to come here come in so who's here it's me ah! i thought you died no they tried to kill me my stupid son shot me in the head good thing i'm hard-headed <laughs> but the van exploded i jumped out big one well listen i don't want to talk to you you got me in trouble what if i told you i could make you rich i'm listening how about this time instead of kidnapping jeffy we kidnap a whole bus full of kids they'll give us like 20 million to get all those brats back okay i like it i like it okay so tomorrow morning go out and steal a school bus and bring it back here all right Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Hey, Danny, can I miss school today since it's my birthday? No, Jeffy, you're not going to miss school. Come on, Marvin, let him miss a day of school for his birthday. But today's Monday. It's the first day of school. Oh, yeah, Jeffy, you can't miss the first day of school. It's the most important day. You guys suck. I hate you. Marvin, I am kind of nervous. I think I have PTSD after what happened last year. Listen, his mom's dead. There's no way he's going to get kidnapped again. Okay. Hey, Danny, after school, can we go to the strip club so I can get my willy wet? No, Jeffy, go to the bus stop. <sighs> Fine. What? Is that a dog in the road? Oh no, 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 no. I hit a poor maroon dog. Why, God? Why? <sighs> now, how do you start this thing? Oh, yeah, down here. Ah, yeah, listen to that baby purr. Hey, who's at my bus? Hey, get back here with my bus right now. Hey, hey. Oh, God damn it. Oh, man, I don't want to go back to school. I know I hate it, dude. Well, today's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Jeffy. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday, dude. It's such your birthday's on the first day of school. But he gets the best gift of all, education. Oh, I just want to punch Cody. Yeah, you're such a nerd, Cody. Shut up. No one likes school like you do. Oh, look, guys, it's, it's the bus. Maybe the teacher will let you go home early today because it's your birthday. Yeah, maybe. And hopefully there's strippers in your classroom. Yeah, hopefully. Let's go. Hey, where's your old bus driver? He called in sick. Okay. Junior, why you screwball our bus driver? He said Jackie Chu called in sick. But isn't he a kidnapper? Dude, he's a clown. Yeah, he's trying to turn his life around, Cody. Stop trying to profile him. Yeah, okay, but if we get kidnapped, I'm gonna be mad. We're not gonna get kidnapped, we're going to school. Oh, oh he stole my goddamn bus. That piece of shit. What, what? Oh, my bus! Hey, motherfucker! Give me my bus back! Give me my goddamn bus back! Uh, guys, Jackie Chu's banging on the window. Uh, Junior, I don't think we're going to school. Uh-oh. Hey! 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 I'm gonna get you, you motherfucker! Did you get the bus full of kids? Yeah, I have the bus full of kids. Is Jeffy 
on it? Yeah, I think so. You think so or yes? Both. Are you sure it's really him this time? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, just bring him back to the house. All right, I'm on my way. So Marvin, what are we gonna get Jeffy for his birthday this year? Well, he's 19 years old and he already has a car. Then why did he take the bus to school? So he can see his friends for his birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe we could sign for an apartment for him. No, Marvin, he can't move out. Well, he's 19 years old, baby. He has to move out eventually. He's in the fifth grade, Marvin. Yeah, he's 19 years old in the fifth grade. Isn't that a little weird? Yeah. Who's at the door? Hello? <sighs> Piece of shit. Piece of shit stole my bus. What? Somebody stole the bus with all the kids in it. What? Someone stole the bus with the kids in it? Yeah, I need to come inside and use your phone. I'll come inside. Baby, baby, baby. Where's my phone? What's wrong, Marvin? A clown stole the bus with all the kids in it. Marvin, you said Jeffy wouldn't get kidnapped. Well, listen, we just, we just got to figure out what's going on. So what exactly happened? So I was driving the bus, and then all of a sudden I see Baroon Dog in the road. And I stop the bus, get out and check on the Baroon Dog, and then the clown jump in the bus and steal the bus with all the kids in it. Is the balloon dog okay? No, he popped. Oh no! So everything you did was pointless? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, well, let me grab my phone, you can call the cops. Here's my phone, it's already ringing. Hello? 911, what's your emergency? A clown stole my bus with all the kids in it! A clown stole your bus with all the kids in it? Yes! Is it some kind of prank call? No, it was a black clown with orange hand, he stole my bus! <sighs> okay, what color is your bus? Yellow. What, like a school bus? Yes. Oh, well that explains why there'd be kids in it. Okay, I'll tell my officers to look for a school bus with kids in it, but it is the first day of school, so it might take us a while to find the right one. But it is being driven by a clown, so I guess that's different. Okay, thank you. What'd he say? He's gonna do it. Oh my god, Jeffy got kidnapped again on his birthday! Poor Jeffy! Oh man, Simmons, I'm so glad we found this dirt road we can park at. We can just sit here and take naps all day. Nobody ever comes by here. Yeah, we're literally getting paid to sleep. Yeah, this is the life. Wait, hold on, I'm getting a call. What? Oh man, it's the chief. Hello? Officer guy? Yeah, it's me, chief. Uh, me and Simmons are doing so much work, we're arresting so many people. Oh yeah, so many people. Yeah, we are saving lives out here. Well, I need you two to be on the lookout for a yellow school bus being driven by a clown. Okay, what, why? Well, apparently the clown stole the school bus and kidnapped the kids. Okay, well, we'll be on the lookout for that. Okay, Simmons, the chief wants us to find a yellow school bus being driven by a clown. He was probably just getting pranked. Simmons, was that a clown driving a school bus? Yeah, it looked like it. Well, time to turn on the wee woo lights. Oh, that's my favorite part. <laughs> Simmons, I think this is the stolen bus! Pull over, jackass! You're not getting away! Uh, guys, where do you think he's taking us? Ooh, mini Disney World! Yeah, he's probably taking us to Disney World! I don't think so. Guys, the cops are behind us! Oh, oh shit, the cops! Hold on! What's going on? I think the cops are following me! Well, you better lose them! Alright, I'll try! Hold on, kids! It's gonna be a bumpy ride! You should ram him. What, ram him? Ram him! Wait, okay, I'm gonna ram him. Go, Dad, go! All right, I'm gonna ram him. Three, two, one. Son of a bitch ran me. Mate, he went to the field. I know, but I fucked up the car. What? The car, I fucked it up. I knew I shouldn't have rammed the bus. Let's just pull over and look at the damage. Oh man, Simmons, the police letters came off. Uh, mate, we got a bigger problem. We got a flat tire. Yeah, but the police letters, though. Now how are people gonna know we're cops? We look like Walmart security. Well, we got the blue lights. Yeah, still not gonna help us stop the bus. Wait, I know where they're going. We can, we can cut them off with a roadblock. Come on, Simmons.
Okay, Simmons, I know he's headed this way. So whenever he sees the roadblock, he's gonna stop and ask you to move. But then whenever he stops, I'm gonna run up and shoot him in the head with my police-issued Uzi with silencer and extended mag. All right, mate, sounds like a good plan. But what if he hits me? He's not gonna hit you, Simmons. This is a cop car, that's illegal. All right. All right, let's shoot some clowns. A roadblock, huh? You ram me, I'm gonna ram you! He's not gonna hit that cop car, is he? Oh, I hope so. Dude, that'd be sick! Yeah, hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Guys, hit it. Guys, that's my dad! He's not gonna hit it. <laughs> he hit it. Ugh, this thing ain't got no airbag. Sorry! Uh, he hit the cop car! Oh, that was so sick, dude! That was awesome! Ugh, that was the titties. I flew all the way to the front. Now that he's disabled, I'm gonna give him some Uzi! Come here, clown, you're gonna die! Dad, help me! Uh, Penelope, I'm coming! Oh my god, Penelope! How'd you like that RPG, huh? What? You're still alive? Die, bitch! Uh, oh no, I'm out of ammo! Die, coppers! <laughs> Got it, stupid ass! Get ready to join your daughter, you piece of shit! What'd you say? Die! Uh, die! Well, I made sure she's dead this time, but I lost my daughter, I lost my partner, and I lost all those kids. All right, Marvin, when Jeffy gets home from school, we can celebrate his big birthday blowout! You do know he's kidnapped, right? The cops are gonna save him, Marvin, and everything's going to be fine. We can have cake, we can blow up balloons, we can open presents, it's gonna be great! How are you so happy? Because, Marvin, I'm trying to distract myself! <laughs> that might be the cops at the door! I hope so! Hello? Hey, Marvin. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Did you find Jeffy? Kinda. Okay, where is he? Um, let me just come in and explain. Okay. Baby, it was the cops! Did he find Jeffy? He said they did! I said kinda. So, where's Jeffy? Uh, wait, is it your birthday? I don't want to give you bad news on your birthday. What? It's bad news? Yeah. Well, no, it's not my birthday. It's Jeffy's birthday. Oh, God! We're gonna have a big birthday blowout! Oh, God! Can you help us blow up these balloons? Oh, God! There's just so many pieces! Oh, God! When Jeffy sees this party, his face is gonna explode. Oh, God! But we have to finish setting up, otherwise it's gonna be a disaster. Disaster. Oh, God. And I want this party to go perfect, because I don't want to kill a bunch of kids' dreams. Oh, God. So where's Jeffy? Well, we did manage to find the bus, and we managed to stop it. But just as I was running to save the kids, the bus got blown up by a rocket launcher. What? A rocket launcher? Who shot that? Jeffy's mom. I thought she was dead! Yeah, we thought so too, but it turns out she only got shot in the head. She didn't actually die. The bullet was just stuck in her skull. But don't worry, I shot her in the head a whole bunch of more times, so she's definitely dead now. There's no way she's coming back next year with a bunch of bullets in her face. That would just be silly. So are the kids okay? I thought we were past this. They got blown up by a rocket launcher. Oh my god, no! Wait, 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 so Jeffy's dead? Yes. Oh my god, baby, I can't believe this. I, I mean, my daughter was on the bus too, so she's dead. And my partner. So oh, mine's kind funny. of a little bit more sad, if you think about it. I mean, I don't want to make this into a pissing contest, but you know, I mean, your kid was adopted. I actually had my kid, you know, adopted kid, blood kid. Seems a little worse to me. It's gonna be okay. And I'm still at work, you know, I gotta go around and tell people the kids are dead. That's sad. You know, I mean, throw some sympathy my way. Give me some boo-hoos. You know, I'm having a pretty rough day over there. Oh, I can't believe Jeffy died. I'm sorry, were you saying something? It, never mind. <laughs> oh, great. First my kid dead, and now there's someone at the door. Uh, I mean, I don't think you can really compare the two, but sure. Oh, can you please answer the door with me? It might be someone scary. How many scary people do you get at your door? Can you please just answer the phone with me? <laughs> Hello? I'm sorry. Marvin, it's the clown that kidnapped the kids! Well, shoot him! I don't have my gun! I might. Simmons? I thought you were dead! No, I escaped the police car. Then I ran over to the bus and rescued the children. Hey, Dad! Penelope! Jeffy! Wait, but Simmons, where are the rest of the kids? Oh, I dropped them off at their houses, and Junior wanted to hang out with his friends. Oh, good, but wait, 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 wait. Simmons, how did you get out in time? I saw everything explode! Oh, I'll tell you. Watch this flashback. Ugh. Ugh. I gotta get the kids out of the bus! Ugh. Come on, kids, get off the bus! That was a pretty cool flashback, Simmons. Thanks, mate. Come on inside! Alright. <laughs> Baby, guess what? What? Mommy, I'm alive! Oh my god, Jeffy! Thank goodness! 
hey, I'm alive too. So that clown's gonna go to jail forever, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Multiple kidnappings and attempted murder. I didn't try to kill anybody. You rammed the cop car with your bus. Well, to be fair, we rammed him first. Hmm, I guess that's true. I guess they do kind of cancel each other out. But still, definitely the kidnappings though. All right, listen. What if I can make you some pretty cool animal balloons? Then I won't go to jail, right? Hmm. Nice try, but no. Go wait in the cop car. Okay. Wait, so you're gonna just let him walk to the cop car? He knows how to get there. Marvin, now we can throw Jeffy's birthday party! Yeah, you have a big birthday blowout! And go to strip clubs! Hey, I'm down. Simmons, drive us to the strip club! Uh, we don't have a car, mate. It blew up in the explosion. Wait, if we don't have a car, then how is the clown waiting in the car? Well, I don't know. I Ubered here. I is the Uber still outside? No. Oh, he ran away. Yeah, the clown definitely ran away. This could very well happen again. Wait, 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 wait. So, isn't it kind of cheap that the last movie had a big explosion and this movie had a big explosion? I mean, hey, look, Star Wars blew up the Death Star twice. A actually, three times, if you think about it, if you count the new ones, you know, so, so we're original, we're fine. Let's walk to the strip club. Okay. 